Thank you all for uh, watching Crash Course RC today. We're going to be building bag B of the new uh, Techno SCT410 SL. So thank you guys for watching. Let's dig right in. A lot of this is just like the center differential. Start by putting some grease down in there. I like to take a tool and move it around. All right, we're gonna take this piece, stick it through there. Before we do that, let's put a little grease. Seems like I always want to forget that for some reason. All right. Stick that in there. Get our O-ring. It's going on top of the piece that we just installed. We'll take a little tool. Push it flat. Just be careful not to damage that O-ring. Next goes a washer. Once again, taking my tool, pushing that flat. Ready for our needle nose pliers. We're going to insert a little pin that holds all this together. guys can see that all right ready for just a little bit of diff fluid and we can start putting our gears in so up front we're going to be using 30,000 weight I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit in Take one of our bigger gears. This slot here goes over the pin that we just installed with our needle nose pliers. Like so. Take more diff fluid. Looks good for now. I like to add it as I go to make sure all those gears get good and full. Next, we're going to be installing this guy with the four little tiny gears. The gear parts go towards the center, like so. A lot of your eight scale buggies and stuff, this cross brace here is metal. On the old uh, SCT 410.3, they were plastic. And you know, they've held up just fine for me. So I don't know how important that is. So I'm sure they'll be fine in this. This is an even lighter vehicle than the SCT 410.3. So if you'll notice, you got a uh, little cross, cross spaces there. The ends of these are going in those spaces. All right. Kind of rotating those gears, getting that diff fluid in there. Feels good. Now we're ready for more diff fluid. Now 
I'm kind of moving it all over. I'm going to stop right there for now. I'm going to pick up my ring gear here. And it's going to get this uh, gasket in there. I'm going to go, well, we, we can go ahead and put that in there. It'll be okay. That's why I'm letting this diff fluid settle. Take a little tool and kind of center that up. That looks pretty good. All right. Take a little grease around here, just like we did our uh, plastic piece. Take our piece here, it's gonna get some grease. Little drive coupling. It's gonna insert through there. And we're gonna use our O-ring. Just like so. All right, take our washer. cross pin with our needle nose pliers should look like so Now, probably ready to drop this in there. And when we do, our diff fluid should be pretty flush. And that looks pretty good. Maybe just wipe the top a little bit. It looks really full. So now, we're ready for this guy. I like to kind of try and line this up with those four corners, same with this. And that looks pretty close there, if you can see. So when I'm so when I put that on top of that, it'll be all right. Looks good, we're ready for our screws. Now the other diff that comes in this bag is gonna be our rear diff. And you build it exactly the same way, only it gets 20,000 diff fluid instead of 30. I have my torque setting pretty low on this because these are really tiny Allen heads. Don't want to strip out the plastic. Just checking these by hand. 
they feel really good. That should turn. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I put a little F on this. I don't know if you can see, but that's when we go to assemble it. I'll know that this is the front differential. The ring gear kind of covered it up there, but all right. This has been a uh, bag B of the SCT 410 new SL version. Thank you guys for tuning in.